Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. This time we're taking you through our recommended picture settings for the Philips 50 PUT 6400 Ultra HD 4K LED LCD TV. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to go in the settings menu. And you can do this in one of two ways. You can either go in via the Android Smart TV platform or you can press the settings button on the remote control. Both are fairly long-winded but I think pressing the settings button is slightly quicker, so we'll do that. Okay, then you can select all settings and then go over to picture style. As you can see, there are a number of different picture styles, but we found in testing that the ISF day and ISF night settings were the most accurate out of the box. The reason there are two, so you can create a day setting, which is brighter, and a darker setting for watching TV at night. Um, the settings we're gonna show you are actually for a nighttime setting. So let's go and add to color. Leave the color control at its default setting of a 50. Contrast, now this is actually the, what would normally be called the backlight control. So controlling the overall brightness of the TV and bringing the backlight up or down. Now for some reason Philips have called this a contrast control, which is a little bit confusing because there's another control already on the TV called contrast. But in this case, what, what Philips mean is the backlight control. It was reset to 32, which was more than bright enough for a comfortable viewing experience at night. Sharpness control, leave that at zero. And then you can go into the advanced settings. Under color, we have the color temperature. You could use warm, which is pretty accurate out of the box. We actually did do a, a calibration, so we use the custom setting. And if you're interested, here they are. Obviously, can't guarantee this will be applicable to your television, but for this particular model, these were the settings that we used. The color control, we did initially use this, but we found that although it made the grass look accurate, um, actually, when you watch content, it was, it was full of artifacts. So in fact, we'd recommend not using the color control on this television. As it happens, out of the box, particularly after we'd calibrated the uh, color temperature, the grayscale, actually it was pretty accurate. So just leave that alone. Contrast. So contrast mode, leave that off. Dynamic contrast, also leave that off. Brightness you can leave at the default setting of 50. Video contrast, this is the control that's normally just called contrast. Philips called it video contrast, and we set that to 90. Turn the light sensor off, and the gamma we set to zero. Actually, actually was at minus four in its default setting, but zero actually gave us um, around about 2.2, which is a good gamma from the average viewing environment with light colored walls. Sharpness, ultra resolution off, noise reduction off and MPEG artifact reduction, we turned all those off. Depends on the quality of your content, but we didn't need them. And then uh, motion control, uh, natural motion, here we go. Uh, we turned that off as well. Obviously, uh, depending on what you're watching, if you're watching film-based content, we always recommend leaving it off. If you're watching something like fast-paced sports content, we might want to experiment with it, but for certainly film, just leave it off. And then we can come out of the advanced picture format we want to go into this one, depending on the content that you're watching, but certainly if you're watching high quality content, you want to make sure that there's no scaling being done, that there's nothing um, taking away from the, the, from the accuracy of the image or robbing it of any high, high definition detail. So select advanced and then make sure you select original. And that's it for our settings for the Philips 50 PUT 6400 Ultra HD 4K LED LCD TV. Don't forget that you can read the actual review navyforums.com forward slash reviews. And you can also see more videos at navyforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.